On the 7th of June, 1844, on the remote marshlands of northern Canada, the last living example of the great auk was found dead. Believing it to be enchanted, the villagers fashioned a model of the bird in purest gold. Legend decreed that the golden auk possessed strange magical powers and a prophetic warning for all mankind. For a hundred years, greed and avarice drove many men to kill for it. This is their story. 1933, and the golden auk has been missing for 20 years until the beautiful archaeologist, Melissa Winthrop, stumbles across a letter revealing the statue's whereabouts. But a foreign power are soon onto her. To kidnap her and make her talk, the Germans dispatch their evil emissary, Dr. Heinrich von Hesseltein. <laughs> in the clutches of the Nazis, there was only one man in England equipped to rescue her. Little Hampton Jones, <laughs> old famous troubleshooter, and the only man known to have failed the medical for the Oval Teams. <laughs> a demon with a horsewhip, Little Hampton could rope in a wild animal at 25 feet. Master of illusion, Little Hampton smuggles himself into Germany disguised as a nun. He soon tracks down his arch adversary, von Heseltine, to a crumbling old house near Munich. Don't worry about that. 
As you tell me the way of no one can make people talk. <laughs> tell me where I can find no this. No one in the whole of the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to have the tough Gestapo using the latest troop drugs. But he is the quickest, definitely. Oh, he can wring a confession out of you so fast. Will you shut up? <laughs> Who is carrying out this interrogation? You or me? Hey? I'm surrounded by simpletons. Shut your great fat gulp. <laughs> Now, my dear, in return for this information, <laughs> I am... <laughs> you promised not to shout at me. I <laughs> did, I did, I did. I promise I won't shout at you anymore. I won't shout at you. It's a nice little gun. <laughs> <laughs> now, my dear, you've had time to consider my question. What is your answer? Go boil your face, you big fat sauerkraut. <laughs> I see. You want time to think it over. <laughs> Very well. But let me assure you, my dear Fräulein, that I shall stop at nothing until the fabled orc is in my hands. Never shall I let up until its magic and secret prophecies are mine. No one, but no one, Makes a fool out of me. <laughs> I told you, it's murder. an army of pygmies with poison darts? Pygmies? Poison darts? I've never heard anything so ridiculous. You idiot! Have you seen the seat of your trousers? <laughs> Is it serious? Serious? The poison's fatal unless it's sucked out straight away. I think that's got it all right now, Mr. Jones. Call me Little Hampton. Damn lucky we find this. <laughs> Where shall I hide? Now, my little dove, you have had time to consider. I hope that you have now decided to be a sensible girl. So far, I've been very patient with you, my dear. <laughs> but I must warn you that... <laughs> I think I should warn you that my patience is not entirely inexhaustible.
so, one year later, with the great Auk restored to its place of honor in the British Museum... You never really believed it, did you, Miss Winthrop, you know? All this hokum about magic prophecy. Who knows? I don't suppose there's really any truth in it. that. There never was a secret prophecy attached to it after all.